start making the lasagna in a minute. This is a bechamel. Um, you had to change the film when he was making it. But it's just a very, very basic, low-fat bechamel. In other words, we don't use butter or anything. We're just very, very little fat in there. And uh, he's just kept some of the bechamel so that we can use it for a creamy pasta sauces. And now we're going to make the lasagna with the rest. Bechamel has just been made. Um, and get rid of any lumps. Is the oven up to temperature? Does anybody know? Nearly there. Nearly there. What we're doing, Paul, is we're layering. Can you get me the cheese out, Gaz? Bechamel next. And then we start to get 100% mozzarella shred. Thank you, guys. We want everybody to know that everything here is 100%. We're not ashamed of anything. I'm not even ashamed of my sister there making the meatballs. When we're not in a rush and we're not filming, I've been known to make the lasagna sheets myself. But today, for these purposes, I'm using this. Right, then we have to start layering again. I'm sure you've all made lasagna at home. There's no secret to it, only the fact that our bolognese is the best. this. Frank's the expert lasagna maker, but he's been here as long as I have. And his food is probably better than mine now because he spends more time doing it. Bechamel again. As you can see, it's a nice white colour as opposed to a yellow colour. And that's because I don't like to use creams and butters. So this is just uh, milk. I think that butter's nice to spread on bread, but I think that if you use it too much for cooking, it hides the true flavour. I find that people use a lot of butter when they want to disguise bad, bad veg or bad meat. Or, but I believe that if the vegetable's good, good enough, it doesn't need any enhancing, and neither does uh, anything else. Lovely, beautiful, 100%. So you've got your fat and cheese as well, so you really don't need to add to it. Are the meatballs ready? Oh, look at that. Oh. Can you take it away, Frank? Go on. it had an hour that's ready that's ready oh look at that lovely stringy cheese Mozzarella. right now what we do with this lasagna is we're going to portion it 
It's still a little bit hot at the minute, but when it cools down a little bit, we chop it into portions, into foil containers, and that's how we serve it to you. And then we add more cheese and more sauce, and you get it in your foil container. But as you can see, it's fresh.